Asus AI vs Ryzen Master Position Boost Overdrive and Auto Overclock which is better unfortunately I think it's Ryzen Master yes you can overclock uh, and under vault using Asus and the BIOS like I've done to this 5950X overclocked all cores to 4500 MHz and under vaulted slightly to basically well you can see what the voltage is on the graph like I say the 5950X and here's the volt currently 1.24 volts and yes the Asus software the Asus AI software does result in a higher Cinebench score of roughly on a clean boot it would be 11,400 I've got lots of software running anyway, I'll run Cinebench I'll show you what it is now probably going to be around 11,000 so I've got lots of software open but there is an issue and that's not reflected in the benchmarks I'll run it here run there we go, it'll probably be around 11,000 there we go, bent plot running process has gone to 4.5 gigahertz volt 1.24 so it's under volt fans are ramping up and yeah, 4.5 gigahertz just 1.2 volts you know, with Ryzen Master that goes to where it can spike to 1.4 and we got a score of 10,200, that's pretty low but usually it's a lot higher the reason it's low because I've got uh, lots of software open I've got, uh, look at the browsers, so many browsers, Excel, Word, Dreamweaver have you all even got the crypto miner running? <laughs> in the background and DaVinci Resolve's there it's not, it's idle at the moment so what's the issue? the issue is responsiveness the system is less responsive with the AI software than it is with the Ryzen Master Position Boost Overdrive or Auto Overclock Let me just exit this so I can run it Yeah, let's exit that so I can run it again ok so I've got rid of two pieces of software it's less responsive you get a, an extra decent overclock score you know in benchmarking but the system in use is less responsive for some reason I'll demonstrate it in a second once I finish running the benchmark again see if it's near 11,000 10,700 going up there is a lot of software running a lot of tabs open if I look at task manager we'll see what else is running what, oh there's all the CPUs it's 93 percent 93 to 95% let's see what the final score is things going up slightly I'll stop it now so the problem is it's less responsive this is reflected in task manager so I'll load up task manager go to performance and the cores see it's not using all the cores obviously some cores are more heavily used than others well, as you can see and for some reason overclocking it with A Asus AI it does not, it's not optimum for system use for instance when I click on to play a video there's a delay 
as an example they shouldn't be yeah. now watch I'm gonna click it now Oop. for example be used in the creation of new medicines I've stopped that it set. two three second delay it's not just one now watch, I'm gonna, you can hear the click when I click it uh, to Bitcoin uh, that alone so I just clicked it's not stopped what about this one? The current rally. So it's not on this one, but I've noticed when they shift moving between browsers, there can be a delay. I've got nothing running in the background. If I had something running in the background, then it would be. See, at the moment, it's okay, but there is a delay, an appreciable delay. You just witnessed him playing those videos it takes three seconds to play that video after clicking it including the refresh the refresh there's nothing running at the moment like right, task manager look process nine percent only and it's only using a few of the cores as you can see one two three cores it's using three cores and Obviously, there's six threads using one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, four cores. Yeah, so there's an issue with overclocking Ryzen process like a 5950X with Asus AI. So, and that's including in the BIOS. So, I would not overclock using the Asus overclock like all core because it will result in worse performance than if you use the rise and position boost overdrive and uh, auto overclock I'd probably go for auto overclock because then you can reduce you can fine tune it so use rise and mass do not you, you're probably best off uninstalling it Asus AI this is weird because you're getting you're getting lower benchmarks with Ryzen Master but better uh, system performance that was my experience using Ryzen Master PBO yeah you would get probably 10,600 or 10,900 on a clean boot Cinebench score but with the Asus AI undervolted and all cores 4.5 you get 11,300 400 so benchmarks higher but the use is not as good you know this there was there was not this delay I used it with position boost overdrive first and it was good but obviously the temperatures shot up the position boost overdrive so then I did a auto auto overclock so you can set the max limits for TDC and EDC which I have done in BIOS so these are set to the limits in BIOS so that is partially you know an input from Ryzen Master in the BIOS but now with Asus controlling the clocks it's not working it's no I'm gonna click it now up to five a five hundred thousand dollar increase is it I stopped it to click and it was a delay there wasn't before so that's something to take note of which, which to use Ryzen Master or Asus in the BIOS or the AI software it is not optimized for Ryzen processors. Obviously, Ryzen know best what to do. So yeah, you can use Ryzen Master to fine tune and then set it in the BIOS. Do not use all core overclocks. You will get higher benchmarks, but performance, system performance won't be as good. It won't be as snappy. You know, there is a delay there's something going off I think it's to do with using only four cores with position boost overdrive gives it an oomph goes beyond 4.5 gigahertz probably 
you probably see spikes towards 5 gigahertz maybe that's what I'm guessing that's why the voltage goes a lot higher under position boost overdrive the voltage goes a lot higher but it's temporary and that's why you get the higher single core performance I think these all core overclocks are a false are a false premise they don't increase performance system performance does not increase under vaulting and all core overclocks look good on paper and in benchmarks but system performance is not as good stick to those who know what they're doing that's Ryzen they know their processes best and go with position boost overdrive overclock well, overdrive and then fine tune it using the auto overclock uh, until you settled with the settings and put those settings into the BIOS so you don't have to load Ryzen Master each time it's already set otherwise you might I know auto overclock it just runs the program on boot and sets it mm. at the moment it's not using those settings because it's under the control of Asus so there's there's no limit you know Instead, if I run Cinebench well it might not go over 85 but it doesn't abide by that limit I can lower you know the ED I can lower these then what's set in the BIOS you know, I, I don't think I can apply though let's have a look you know, I won't be able to apply because it's yeah it'll ask me to set it no, uh, no, see, it won't. Yeah, it won't set it anyway because it's Asus is controlling it. So I'm gonna go into the BIOS now and disable all the all core overclocks I set in Asus, and might even have to uninstall Asus AI. But there you go. That's if you're thinking of overclocking root, which is best for the Ryzen processors. I would say it's Ryzen Master uh, all core overclock is best not what am I talking about Ryzen Master auto overclock is best not all core uh, do not use Asus AI in the BIOS or whatever your system won't be as snappy there's a delay it's a it's like you've gone backwards I'm getting much better benchmark but system is not performing as good as what it was when it was just PBO auto overclock will lower the temps so that's what I'm going to do now go and unravel what I've done in BIOS get rid of all core overclock yeah it'll probably overclock to it's 4.5 giga it's probably overclock to 4.2 something like that, or maybe 4.4 if I remember correctly but it's not all core it's not fixed like it is here anyway that's just a pointer if you're thinking of overclocking you've got three options basically you've got PBO PBO you know, auto overclock and then you've got the BIOS settings under ASUS or whatever the motherboard just stick to Ryzen Master Op the optimum system performance a high benchmark score does not translate into better system performance which is what I've discovered now the system is not as get higher Cinebench but it's not as good as it was